Welcome back to Living 808. Now, when it comes to grabbing that perfect picture, having a photographer's eye is only part of the picture. Skill and experience all contribute to the artistic skill. To talk more about his photography journey, Jay Greiner jo go joins us this morning. Hello. Yes, good morning. Good yes, morning. Great, great to be here. So, okay, we already know that you take beautiful photos. Tell us more about yourself. Where are you from? Yeah, so I moved here um, 2011 from Florida. Finished physical therapy school. Um, actually came out here to do an uh, orthopedic residency, so a little bit different. Um, five years later, here we are, still, still, still on the island, and kind of a little bit of a change in, in perspective of life, so that's kind of where, where it brings me now. Wow, so what, wait, what changed your perspective? What made you pursue photography? Yeah, so I was here for seven months. Um, I went through a little bit of a difficult time. Um, I had an accident, so I had a pretty severe head injury. Mm -hmm. And so the recovery process, I moved back to Georgia, with, spent time with family, and then just my perspective of life completely changed. Um, appreciation for different things I didn't really have much time for. So moving back here, um, four months after spending time with family, um, I spent a lot of time in the ocean and spending a lot of time in the ocean, started exploring things with the camera. And before you know it, you know, you just end up pursuing something you never really had too much time to really understand. And uh, yeah, just being in the water, being in the ocean, respecting that and all of the uh, part of the, the, the ocean that I'm just very, very grateful for. I love that. And yeah. we're actually taking a look at some of the video that you've taken. This is amazing. Yeah. Tell us about this experience yeah, right here. So we went to uh, Tonga. This is in Vavau. I went out there with Darren Ju, spent about 60 hours um, just off the coast, about maybe 30 miles. It was a mom and a calf. Um, so just, yeah, spending a lot of time with them, hearing their they're singing, watching the mom, and how it cares for the calf. It's just incredible. I'd say probably one of the most inspiring trips I've ever taken, just to be in the water with them and have them trust you and respect you to uh, get really close. And yeah, it's that is that gave me chills. <laughs> that what an incredible experience. So that makes yeah. me just wonder. Then what is your what would you say is your most memorable favorite experience? Was it that, do you think? Yeah, I would say favorite experience. Um, I think when you're in the water and you're able to hear them sing, mm -hmm. uh, just the intensity of that actually was shaking my camera. Wow. And you're just, you know, probably about 30, 40 yards from them. And just that emitting that frequency, just vibrating, shaking everything around it, and just like, how do they, how does this happen that that much power generated through, you know, their vocalization? But um, watching the mom and calf interact, just seeing the dynamics between that, the little calf coming up, mom coming up, and just bringing her up to the surface, letting her rest, and just seeing that interaction, um, it's, it's, it's hard to explain, but when you're able to experience it, um, it definitely creates this whole new appreciation and respect for them. That is incredible. Yeah. So what's your favorite species to, to photograph? And do you do people as well, or are you mainly just underwater photography? Yeah, well, part of the whole process was kind of getting away from the crazy commotion of okay. life and spending time in the ocean and just having that, that time of solitude. Right. And, um, but yeah, we, we do a little bit of different projects here and there with different lifestyle shoots. Um, but I would say we spend some time with the sharks out uh, on the North Shore. A lot of shark conservation, tiger sharks, Galapagos, sandbar. Um, and then the spinner dolphins, seeing the interaction between them, how intelligent they are. Um, but I would have to say my most favorite is probably the whales, the humpback whales. Oh, yeah, that yeah. looks incredible. And you have a lot of products that we can purchase, correct? Where can we find all of your different items? Yeah, so we just finished an art show a couple weeks ago with the Hydro Flask. So we're just working the 40 ounces right now. Um, the different ways that we infuse with the UV printer, so it makes them really durable. You can scratch, you can bang it. It's not going to chip off. It's not going to bubble, which is really important, especially through the lifestyle stuff out here. Um, the different prints all on the website, jgroundedphotography.com. And then the flasks are not on the website yet. We're kind of limited supply right now. So just through the Instagram, jmgriner. Um, we just kind of trying to get the launch uh, for the spring coming up. So we still have a limited supply, but uh, we're just trying to, you know, find better ways to share, you know, my, my passion through the images. I love it. Yeah. I love it. And if you want to be a part of this, if you would like to maybe give these as gifts, perfect for the holiday season, make sure you head on over. We'll have all that information on our website on the Living 808 page. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. And I have an ocean theme in my living room. I might need to talk to you about getting a yeah. print. Yeah. All right, That's now so let's nice. send it on over to Taizo. But thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank Thank you. Yeah, Jay, thank you. And real quickly, dude, can you pick up your camera right there? Just yeah, yeah, check yeah. this out. Look at that. That is amazing. Again, skills and the right equipment. All right, you know, a little <laughs> bit earlier.